How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome back to another review on this channel. Today we've got Rodrigo Moreno Machado, aka Rodrigo from Leeds United. We're going to review him today because he is one of those sought after players at this early start of the game. Hell, he was extinct for a long, long time. And now he's selling for between 25 to 30 on the PlayStation and 30,000 coins, exactly his price range, on the Xbox. So he could go extinct again. So we're going to review his card today and see um, why he's so sought after, why people want him, and why he could be good for your team. Lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. You bring that like, you smash that like, you subscribe to the channel for all the content. Hit the bell to be notified of each and every single piece of content that does get uploaded onto the channel. Check out my socials as well. Facebook, Marshall89HD. Instagram, Marshall89YT. And Twitter, Marshall89HD. Make sure you check them all out, lads. Um, because I'll be doing giveaways on all of those platforms very, very soon. So in terms of Rodrigo, boys, he's going to be playing striker for me today in the 4-2-3-1 formation. Which is a good formation. I found, I found success with it this year, but uh, I'm trying to 4 triple 2 now. But lads, in the comment section below today, let me know the next player that you do want to see reviewed on the channel. However, Rodrigo is 6 foot tall. High to medium work, it's left foot primarily. He's got a freestyle weak foot, but honestly, this game... It doesn't matter too, too much, especially that freestyle weak foot. By the way, I packed them first door, and I actually saw them since now, uh, since then. So even if I do a, like, a good review, so to speak, I can't make any profit off him. It was on the road of glory, I saw them for 26,000 coins, I do believe it was. And uh, yeah, he sells for 25k now, so bargain, boys. Uh, in terms of price, uh, not the price, the, the stats of these cards. He's got 9 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. That is absolutely phenomenal, and you can definitely notice that pace in game. Coupled with his movements, he makes some amazing, amazing runs. He's got 83 time position, 80 finish, and 82 shot plus, 76 long shots, 77 bullies, and 77 penalties. So he's shooting a category. It's all right. Now, in terms of a chem style, it's probably stick on his cards. It would be Marksman. Yeah, it would be Marksman. I'd probably put a Marksman on him. Uh, the passing, 81 vision, 77 crossing, 81 short pass. That's amazing for a striker, by the way. The short passing on this card with 83 curve. In terms of dribbling stat, which is also very good for the cards, he's got 80 agility, 74 balance. It doesn't look that good. When you come up with the strength and aggression, it's not that good. Uh, he's got 83 reactions, 82 ball control, 81 in terms of dribbling and 80 composure. It actually goes 3 to 1 0. Fantastic. Uh, reactions, ball control, dribble, and composure. That's what I'm on about. ATM accuracy, 77 jump and 75 stamina. Not too bad. Not the best in the world. And strength and aggression, 69. Make all the jokes you want. And 868 aggression stats, which again, isn't the greatest in the world. And in terms of traits, boys, he's got the finesse shot trait. That's good. That's good. Finesse shot's actually quite decent on this game, especially one on ones or outside the area. If you want to finesse it into a bottom corner or a top corner, you can definitely finesse it with Rodrigo, and he's definitely capable of scoring those goals. And speaking about the goals, should we get in the gameplay? Should we see those goals? I believe we should. Lads, this is Rodrigo Moreno Machado, aka Rodrigo. Let's get into the clips. So here we go for Mr. Moreno or Mr. Rodrigo. He's actually really good in this game. He's uh, he's one of those strikers that knows how to, to make the runs, knows how to put the ball in the back of the net, and knows how to uh, position himself on the pitch uh, accordingly to uh, your game plan. You see here, I'm going backwards to go forwards. Uh, into Bruno Fernandes, he plays in a Gareth Bill. Look at the movement in the middle. He gets away from his centre back with ease, and he taps it into an empty net, letting off those um, sparkly things behind the goal. I, I don't know what they call them. It just goes... Psh you know what I'm saying? Uh, mine's blue, by the way. What colour is yours? Uh, nice little finish there by Rodrigo, but he's in position, and that is the key uh, well, thing I've seen about that move. It wasn't the finish, because, uh, let's, let's admit it, um, Carl Darlow and Nets could have finished that, you know what I mean? But uh, it was a great piece of movement from the cards. Uh, still in place inside to a free uh, Rodrigo, and Rodrigo smashes it in uh, with his weak foot. Yes. Freestyle weak part. Now it is a con with the card because it's a freestyle weak part. Outside the area, it won't be effective, but inside the area, it doesn't seem to matter as long as you've got shot power and finishing. And with Rodrigo, he's got 82 shot power and 80 finishing, so it's all gravy in that category. This is Gareth Bale on the ball. Gareth Bale does well. He passes it backwards into Indeedy, Indeedy into Bruno, into Rodrigo, lads. That is absolutely sublime. Again, Another great run. Another great run. So movement is definitely on his pros list alongside his pace. His shot power's on there. His finishing's on there. His dribbling's on there. And the four-star skills. Because dribbling strikers on this game, they've got the edge. Now, I tried Gabriel Jesus today. His review should probably be out tomorrow. But, um... 
I'm thinking, lads, that Gabriel Jesus is a little bit better than Rodrigo. I'm just going to put it out there. Gabriel Jesus is a dribbling striker that can do a lot more than Rodrigo on this game. Rodrigo, amazing movement yet again. Good positioning from the lads. And he does finish with a plum. In terms of the cons, strength. He's not like Mr. Muscle Man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he's got 69 strength, 68 aggression, 74 balance. He will be pushed off the ball. Now, Sheelan is kind of a thing on this game, but he will get pushed off the ball. That's an unfortunate thing about Rodrigo, despite his movement. Look at the movement again in the box. He actually peeled back on that occasion to get in the position to score the goal. And um, it's just absolutely amazing at times what Rodrigo can actually do. In terms of the best stats, we've got the acceleration and agility, with the worst being the strength and the balance, because I reckon that combination kind of does mess him up being able to hold the ball on a number of different occasions uh, but the main thing you want to know about this card is not only is he good at finishing not only is he good at dribbling not only is his pace absolutely magnificent lads his movement and positioning are nigh on perfect um so for early game this card is absolutely tremendous but he does have his flaws mainly being that strength because you try and go on a little dribble with his cards or just to dribble in general, you're going to get caught. Now, you've seen all these cutbacks, and this is due to the position of Rodrigo, but you're not seeing, like, amazing dribbles or anything like that from the cards. So, Rodrigo threw to Raheem Stillen. Raheem Stillen does well on the turn. Plays it in Rodrigo, the back of your lads. That is an amazing finish. Exquisite into the back of the net. Those blue sparkly things go off yet again. Well, lads, that was Rodrigo Moreno. What's his last name? Machado? <laughs> Rodrigo Moreno Machado. Let's get into the summary and summarize. What a surprise this cards. So there we have it for Rodrigo. Now he's good. He is good, but he's got a lot of flaws going against him. Now, if you compare this guy against like a Killian Mbappe, for example, there's no way, shape, form, whatever the word the saying is, that he's getting close to um, Mbappe. Rodrigo. You know what I'm saying? But he is a very good player for under 100 k uh, The price right now, 30 k on the Xbox, that is literally his price range. The highest you can pay for this card and get from this card is 30,000 coins. A little bit less than the PlayStation. It probably reflects his value a little bit better. So I do give him a value of coins of a 9.0. I reckon he could go up uh, given the price of Gabriel Jesus, given the price of Richarlison, for example. But um, at the same time, I wouldn't pay any more than that. I, I just wouldn't. Uh, he's getting an 8.0 from me. He's a very good strike on this game. Amazing movement and positioning. And his shot power and finishing is very, very good as well. And his pace is phenomenal. Uh, so he does get an 8.0 overall rating from myself. And that's a very, very good rating for the start of the game. Especially for an 82 overall rated card, boys. You know what I'm saying? I've said that so many times. So you must know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> Valve Coins 9.0. I reckon it's not bad, but it could be like 20k... 15k, that's more, like he's going to settle that eventually, he's probably going to be less than 10k in a few months, uh, start a sub, that was what, uh, for, for, for champs lads, especially the first one, on 16th I believe it is, this guy could start for your team, alternatively, he could be a sub for your team, if you pack him on tradable, could definitely do a job off the bench, uh, I've missed the enjoyment in, 8.4 8 is what I'm going to give for enjoyment, uh, he was very enjoyable, He's got some very fun goals. At the same time, his movement was amazing to get in position for the cutback. So it worked really, really well. He played nine games for me, scoring nine times and assisting the three. His first three games, he got an 8.0, 7.7 and an 8.9. Um, links, Spanish Premier League. Does anyone come to mind? I think Adama Traore comes to mind. Uh, strong links into Adama Traore. Leeds players, of course, the strong links into him. And uh, he can kind of hybridize it off in over Spaniards. Maybe from... Not the most notable leagues, Andres Iniesta, maybe from notable leagues, in other Spanish strikers from notable leagues, uh, Thiago, for, no, Thiago's in the bloody Premier League now, um, you get what I'm saying there, lads, he kind of does have good links on this game, similar player, I've, I've given Jamie Vardy, even though nobody's used his cards, unless they have, uh, Jamie Vardy, who's got an inform right now, I reckon they've got a similar statistical layout, yes, Vardy's got less dribble and less pace, um, a bit better shooting, quite better, significant shooting, and better physical, but I reckon statistically, they're kind of the similar kind of players, they've both got a freestyle weak foot as well, uh, key pro will be the shot power, if not the movement and positioning, which is absolutely great, uh, key con will be the strength, it's not good, I wouldn't give the key corner his freestyle weak foot, because it is applicable to take a shot on the freestyle we fought in this game and take a good shot in a good area that can go in the back of the net you would have seen that during the clips as well best game start i'm gonna go marksman with this card you could uh boost the pace up to like 99s with hunter and stuff but honestly marksman does wonders 87 center forward left forward left wing uh right forward and right wing as well 87 striker from an 82 rated base cards 
phenomenal and an 85 rated cam under 100k it would be rodrigo all by himself i don't think i've reviewed any of the strikers under 100k as of right now over 100k it would be mbappe heads of rodrigo so um yeah i, I wouldn't kind of compare the two there's, there's no comparison between the two right now but those lists will fill up as we go through the year so this is just the start of the year so just be prepared for that uh passing seven same for shooting and dribbling with the physical being a six statistically it's not that impressive but this is a good card for early game that's what i'm trying to get across to you guys it is a good card for early game and hopefully you have enjoyed this review because that's where i'm going to end it today thank you very much i'll start it again thank you very much for watching that's what i meant to say this review on the channel if you have enjoyed you know what to do like the video you comment the video because i want to see who you want to review next man i really really do and if you've used rodrigo i want to hear your experiences with this card in the comment section below thank you very much for watching today i hope you've had a great day in general like comment subscribe all the good stuff and i will catch you all next time